Okay. We are going to talk about entertainment. Entertainment. Hoy quiero prácticamente casi puro speaking. Entertainment. So, we are going to talk about what can you see on the screen? What do you think we are going to talk about? Guys, according to the picture, what do you think we are going to talk about? Do you understand my question? Okay, see, see the picture, the pictures, the images, and tell me, what are we going to talk about? Working there? Oh. In general, in general, what are we going to talk about? Movies. Oh, okay. Yes, movies and? Series. Series, yes, thank you. We are going to talk about movies and series, exactly. So, this is the first activity. I want you to discuss with a partner what is your favorite TV show or movie? What's your favorite TV show or movie? I want you to choose three shows, three shows that you like, that you love. If your favorite show is not here in, in, my, in my pictures, in my examples, if your favorite show is not here, doesn't matter. No importa, doesn't matter. You can choose it, you can say it. So, and I want you to talk, to talk with a partner, what are your three favorite TV shows or series and why? Got it? Do you understand what to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So now let's continue. Uh, now let's catch up some new vocabulary. Well, maybe maybe some words are new and maybe maybe others you already know them. So we are going to use inference, your ability to infer meaning. Okay, so don't ask me for the meaning in Spanish. The instructions match, match the sentence with the image. We have six sentences and we have six pictures. We have six images. So please read the sentence and look for the picture that defines the word here, the words in bold, bold and negrita. Okay, try to use your ability to infer meaning. Do you understand what to do? Yes. Okay, you have to write the letters here, the letters here. So one minute, tell me when you finish. Let me know when you finish. Finish.
finir finish great okay so uh, raise your hand if you want to read a sentence if you want to participate raise your hand on zoom no volunteers Okay, so let's see. Alejandro, letter A, can you read the sentence, please? Hey, did you buy the tickets for the movie? How much did they cost you? Hey, it's with hey. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so what's the answer? It's number, tickets, it's number? One. Yes, One. of course. Oh, so that would be letter A. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me number two, Diane? B, letter B. The genre of my favorite films is comedy. What is your favorite genre? Genre. 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 It's genero, no? Sí. Yeah. Genre. So which number is the answer? Four, B. Yes, for its letter B, correct. Here we have some genres, action, comedy, drama, horror, science fiction, sci-fi. It's like the abbreviation for science fiction. Yes, thank you, that's the answer. Luis Enrique, letter C. Yes, teacher. I love watching movies in the big screen. You can see every little detail, detail. Detail. Mm -hmm. Which number is for big screen? Six, C. Very good. Six, it's letter C. Mm -hmm. So next, number four, letter D, uh, Adolfo. Uh, it's the, digo eso? Yes, great. Uh, the, the cast of the movie is great. There's Leonardo DiCaprio, Timothy Calamet. Chalmet. Mm -hmm. Chalmet. Uh, Yona here and Jennifer Lawrence. It's five. Yes, it's five, of course. That's the cast. Five, letter D. It's Camelot. C-H sounds like K. K. Camelot, Camelot. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Letter E, Angel. Yes, teacher. Uh, for me, the plot of a movie needs to be interesting. The world must know how to make a good movie. L number three. Yes, number three, yes. This is letter E, plot. The plot is like the, the beginning, the middle and the end of a movie. Okay, that's the, the plot in Spanish would be? The plot is what is it about a movie? What it's about a movie? So in Spanish plot it's? El desenlace? No, that's the ending. El guion? Yeah, it's like the, the story, okay? The story, the story of the movie, uh, la trama in Spanish, la trama, that's plot, yeah? Please don't confuse story with history, story, Es historia, pero hablando de, uh, de qué se trata una película, un cuento, esa es story. Cuando decimos history, estamos hablando de la materia, de la ciencia que estudia 
el, el paso del hombre a través del tiempo. Esto es history. Entonces, cuidado. En, en inglés es diferente story que history. Yes, got it? Got it, teacher. Okay, so a volunteer for the last one, letter F. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Go Lu Lucas, Lucas is my favorite film. I have watched it, watched it 10 times or more. Mm -hmm. uh, F2, no? Yes, of course. Thank you, that F. Very good. Qué bueno, corregiste tu watch. <laughs> watched. Excellent. Okay, guys. Any question about vocabulary? Do we continue? Mm, no. Yes, please. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, what's, what's the meaning of cast? Elenco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Thank you. Okay, they are the answers. Now, I want you to interview your partner. When, when was the last time you went to the movies? I want you to discuss these questions with a partner. Think of the last time you went to the movies and answer the following questions. What film did you watch? What was the genre, the genre of the movie? How much was the ticket? The money, how much was the ticket? Uh, if you like it, did you like watching the movie in the big screen? Yes or not, and why? Who was in the cast? So who were, who were the actors and actresses? Did you like the plot? Remember the plot, la trama? Yeah, no, and why? Do you understand the questions? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great. So, yes? Es, si no me acuerdo del precio de los boletos, ¿puedo inventarlo? Yes, of course, you can, you can invent it, yeah. Okay, you don't, thank you. You, don't, you don't need to be uh, exact. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. Now let's, uh, let, let's discuss these questions as a whole group, grupo completo, whole group. So let's see. Adrian, do you like watching TV shows or series? What, what do you prefer, TV shows or series? Uh, I think series uh, because I can watch uh, Netflix. Uh, it's interesting. It's uh, there are uh, many series to to watch. Okay, good. Uh, don't you don't you like commercials? <laughs> nah, yeah, <laughs> it's. It's, it's great uh, that, <laughs> yeah, uh, I like watch series, uh, the action. I like uh, to watch or I like watching? I like watching series, the action. Action uh, series. I can, action series, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Ilse, do you prefer to watch movies or series? I prefer series. Why? Uh, uh, is ah, uh, no sé cómo expresarlo. Es más, ¿cómo more, digo como que me llama más la atención? It's more attracting. Ajá, uh -huh, it's more attracting for or, for my series. O esta es mejor, engaging. Es lo que hacen las series que te atrapan y quieres seguir viendo. Ajá. It's more engaging. Ajá, Enga engaging series. More on um, este, um, movies. movies. Ajá, a movies. Ok, thank you. Uh, what about you, Pedro? Do you prefer series or movies? I prefer series. Serious too. Okay, uh, so answer this. 
how many episodes of a series can you see every week? Yo mismo le sigo contestando. ¿Y? Yes. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuántos episodios? Yeah. How many episodes of a, of a series or a show can Veo you see? a la semana. Per week. Per week. Mm -hmm. Ok. In my case, when I, I free time. When I have free time. When I have, when I have a free time. No, sin la, I, when I have free time. When I have free time, I watch in the series, the episodes, um, the three or four episodes. Per week? Or every day? Um, every, and in the week. Okay, just three or four during the week? Sí, yes. Oh, that's a little. Poquito, Poquito. sí. Yeah, Tiempo libre. <laughs> okay, good. What about you, Angel? How many episodes of a series can you see per week? Uh, I think that it depends on the series. 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 Uh, if you like if, it a lot, if you love it. Uh, I think that uh, around uh, five, more five episodes. Per week? Um, by a day. <laughs> every day. Every, every day. Yes, every per day. day. Okay, per day, per dia, per, and per week, per, per day. Oh my God, five. So during the week, it would be like four by seven, <laughs> 28 episodes per yeah. week. Yes. <laughs> That's a lot. But I'm like you, I'm, I am like you. <laughs> if, I, if I really love a series and if I have free time, I can watch like maybe no, not that 20, but 15, maybe 15 episodes per week. Okay. Um, Alejandro, do you have a subscription to Netflix or Prime or Disney or HBO or Star Mars? Star Plus, sorry, Star Plus or another streaming service? <laughs> yeah. I have to Christian to Netflix. Okay, just to Netflix? Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you think that watching a lot of episodes of a show in the same day is good for you? Um, I think uh, two or three episodes per day. Per day? It's, it's good for me. Why I don't have free time. If you have free time, so three, it's good for you. No, let's go check from the ultima. Okay, but okay, three, three is good for you. But if you watch four or five per day, do you think that's good? No, uh, I think it's more. Um, it can be bad, right? For your health. Okay. Uh, so, okay, thank you. What about you, Luis? Luis Miguel, do you have a subscription to any platform? Yes, um, HBO Max. Okay, just Me. HBO? Yes, because I once saw an eight on the internet about a subscription free. A free subscription. A free subscription and I took it for free. I okay, took it. I took it. Pardon. Okay, great. I have HBO and well it has a, a good catalog catalog catalog. 
Yes. What, what do you see in HBO? I casi no lo ocupo. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't like see series in my computer. Uh -huh. Because I, I have a problem with my. Hey, ¿Cómo se dice vista? With. O migraña. Ah, uh, well, migraña es migraine. Migraine. Y vista del sentido de la vista es sight. Sai. Oh, yes. if you if you if you watch if you watch series on on your computer, you got migraine. See, sí, yes. Oh my God. Porque es que si estoy pues, por ejemplo, ahorita ya uso lentes. Pues si estoy así de dos tres horas y ya me empieza a doler la cabeza. Oh, you poor thing. Yes. Okay, so watch it on TV or go to the movies <laughs> in order to watch them. Okay, thank you, Luis. And finally, one more. Um, Emmanuel, what subscriptions do you have? Uh, well, I have Netflix, HBO Max, and Prime Video, I believe. Okay, you have three of them. Yes, HBO is for free because of the app. Uh, Netflix and Prime Video, uh, Prime because of the shipments and Prime Gaming. And Netflix, uh, it's like a uh, custom from okay. yours. And, and do you have the time to watch the three platforms? Well, uh, right now I have been watching a lot of HBO Max uh, because of Doctor Who. I will uh, that's the show I've been watching for like a couple of weeks. Uh, Netflix, uh, right now, nothing. And Prime Video, no, no, neither. So right now, just HBO. Okay, very, very good. So what do you think that watching a lot of episodes during a day, it's healthy? It's good for you? I wouldn't say healthy, but it helps for you uh, in order to practice your English or another language. Okay, but if you watch more, more than five episodes every day in your life, do you think it's okay? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Well, I, 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 I really love to watch TV shows. So for me, it's, it's good. But yeah, for me, it's good. Okay, let's read about it. This is what we are going to read about right now, guys. We are going to read about watching a lot of episodes. Let's see if it's good or, or, or bad. So, here we have a reading. Here we have a reading about to watch or not to watch, pros and cons of watching series. Uh, pros and cons would be like in Spanish, Pros y contras. ¿O cuál sería la traducción de pros? Se me fue. Se dice igual, ¿verdad? Pros y contras. Sí, es lo mismo. Yeah. Pros y contras of watching series. So, before reading, I, I want you to read alone, individually. Please read this article about series and answer these three questions. Ahorita no busquen ninguna palabra que sea para nada más por para su habilidad de inferencia. Ya después lo leemos y contestamos dudas de vocabulario. Got it? Got it. Okay. Let me send you the picture on your WhatsApp group. Por si se ve muy pequeño para que ustedes le agranden. On your cell phone. So give me a minute. Okay, let's see. Uh, number one, Adolfo, the first question, please. Uh, when we watch a show without break, without breaks, we can start to ignore uh, work and relationships. Yes, thank you. That's the answer. 
What do you have in number two, uh, Angel? Uh, yes. Uh, the brain relies something when we watch a show. Uh, what is it? Mm. Letter. Oh, teacher, aquí no entendí. Teníamos que leer lo que, le, los pro y los contra, ¿verdad? Ya. Yes. Ah, yo creí que nada más contestarlos con lo que nosotros que creyéramos y después leerlo. No, tenían que leerlo, por eso digo, sin, sin buscar traducción, por inferencia. De, si había palabras que no conocían, pues sin buscarla. Ah, okay. ah yo nada más. Lo, lo contesté por contestar, no, no leí. Ok, Pero ¿qué puse, pusiste? Puse la le, letra A, serotonin. Serotonin, ok, no. The brain releases, el cerebro libera, releases, releases, oh, es el verbo liberar. Es dopamina, ¿no? Yeah, Dop, dopamine, exactly, dopamine. Mm -hmm. What about number three, Brenda? Yes, every the question or only the answer? The question and the answer. Both. Okay. How can sitting for extended periods of time affect your health? Uh, I put the letter B. We can get, we can gain weight and have slow metabolism, heart disease, disease, disease. Disease, heart disease. disease. Ok, es que mi teléfono no alcanzó a ver. <laughs> ok. Ok, thank you. Thanks to you. Good, that's the answer. We can gain weight, ganar peso, gain weight, and have slow metabolism, heart disease, enfermedades del corazón y lento metabolismo. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, good guys. Those are the answers. Now, let's read. Let's read and let's check if you have understood everything. So I need six volunteers, please. Six volunteers to read the, the article. Who wants to start? Me, teacher. Okay, Diane, Brenda, Angel, okay. Diane, start with the first, the first paragraph. Pro one, the act of watching a series without breaks, grace, and sense of community around the show, something experts call a shared culture space. This allows, this allows viewers to discuss and enjoy the show with everyone, from a coworker to the stranger in line at the grocery store, this short space make it easier to easier. relate easier to relate to other people and share personal perspectives 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 okay repeat the underlined words create create cultural cultural goal go no cultural 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 Discuss. Discuss. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. In the, in the first paragraph, do you understand all guys? Or do you have any question? Coworker. Compañero de trabajo. Ya, ya no sabía este dicho que era el de grocery, pero se me, se me olvidó ahorita también. Ya, yeah, don't worry. ¿Los demás se acuerdan grocery store? Tienda de alimentos. Abarrotes, abarrotes tienda abarrotes. de abarrotes. O la tiendita de la esquina, las misceláneas, esas son grocery store. Thank ¿Ya? you. You're welcome. Okay, continue, Brenda. You are going to read the con one. Brenda? Yeah. 
Ya, ya, voy. <laughs> Count one. Uh, uni University of Texas is study a form that people who watch a uh, show without breaks uh, breaks were more likely to be dis depressed, depressed, lonely, and have less self-control. One of the studies out to authors, John Kishun, PhD, state, when you can stop watching a show, viewers may start to ignore their work and their relationships, relationships with others. Thank you. Just Texas. It's Texas. Yeah, in English, I, Texas. I say in Spanish, Texas. Yeah, and the very <laughs> found. Found. It's very found. Y study. Creo que escuché como study. 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 Well, yeah. to study. Okay. Y es nada más el acento self-control, no self-control. Self-control. Con, self control. Yeah, self-control. Control. Self-control. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Vocabulary problems here. Likely. Likely es como dispuesto o propenso. Dis disponible, dispuesto. Propenso, ajá, huh? ya. Yeah. Thank you. Adrián? Uh, without. What's the meaning? Sin. Sí. With, con y without sin. Okay. Lo contrario de con, sin. That's it? Yeah, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Angel, pro number two. Yes, teacher. Uh, pro two. Uh, according to the psychiatrist, uh, watching a show realize, realizes uh, dopamine in the brain, which creates a feeling of pressure and can help people to relax and relieve stress. Uh, psychologists say that finishing a series can give viewers feelings of control and power, which can be beneficial if viewers are not feeling that in their daily life, lives. Thank you. Repeat after me. Releases. Releases. Create. Great, creates beneficial 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 okay good those are the those are the the only mistakes pronunciation slips uh, do you understand all sorry teacher do you understand all the whole paragraph Uh, it's a question for the whole group. If you have any vocabulary question. Uh, what's, what's the meaning of relief, stress? Libera. Libera stress, relief stress. Okay. Uh, alivio, es como alivio. Ajá, sí, alivio. The, mean, the meaning for pleasures. Uh, don't placer. Placer. Pleasure. Placer, placer. Yeah, pleasure. Pleasure. Daily life. Vidas. Coti vida cotidiana, vida diaria. Thank you. You're welcome. That's it.
Okay, Alejandro, come to. City for extended periods of time has long been linked to slow metabolism, hair, disease, cancer, root cause, and deep vein thrombosis. People who watch series non-stop are more like, likely to, to seek on the couch, eating on healthy, healthy food, and snacking more, which is related to weight gain. Okay, thank you. So I repeat, extend it. Extend it. Aquí suena como una I de extend it. Extend it. Enfermedad, disease. Disease. Uh, disease. It related. Related. Thanks. Okay. Now tell me if, if there are some questions about the, the reading. Blood clots. Eh, coágulos de sangre. Clot es coágulo, blood es sangre. Blood clot. Just that, any other word? Vein, vein is bajunto con thrombosis. Oh, yeah. Deep vena. Deep vein, thrombosis. Vein. Es vena. Uh -huh. Deep okay. es profundo. Vein. Trombosis profundo. de venas, este, no sé, literalmente profundas, pero no sé cómo llamarlas. Como de venas, venas, este, esenciales, Vela. principales. Muy oh, bien. Yeah. De hecho, se llama trombosis. Trombosis cuando ocurre en las venas, las grandes, las que te, las que te provocan que, pues, que pierdas una extremidad o algo. Oh, ya. Yeah. No sabía. He escuchado, pero no sé. Sí, este, no sé, no sé si supieron de un actor que le cortaba una pierna este, uh -huh. hace unos meses. Y cuando, cuando leí de la trombosis, que era por pasar mucho tiempo en sedentarismo, me asusté ¿eh? de estar aquí sentado todo el día. Me asusté y entonces sí comencé a caminar otra vez en las noches ¿no? <risa> alrededor de aquí del condominio. <risa> Agarré su laptop y camine, Pichu, ahí adentro de su casa. <risa> lo, lo he intentado a veces, a veces este, cuando me voy, subo las escaleras, nada más subo y bajo, ¿eh? nada más aquí. No, sí, sí es, sí es malo, es malo el sedentarismo, este, pero pues ya, ya ahorita estoy dando clase en la mañana eh, presencial, entonces ya, ya, ya vamos regresando poco a poco. Okay. Another word? Snacking more? Ah, snack es pues, la comida chatarra que consumimos entre comidas y snacking es un verbo que se inventaron para pues el hecho de estar comiendo comida chatarra. Como comi comiendo entre comidas sería porque un snack también puede ser una manzana. Entonces, comiendo entre comidas, eso se refiere a snacking. ¿Ya? Ok, gracias. Eso también es cierto. Ahorita con los dos años de clase en línea, lo, lo único que hay además de subir las escaleras es ir a, al refri a comer algo. Este, y ahorita que regresé esta semana a dar clases, me di cuenta de que me da menos hambre trabajando en presencial, porque estoy muy movido nada más el almuerzo o la comida, una comida nada más en la cafetería de la escuela y ya, y puedo aguantar todo el día. Y hasta aquí llego a mi casa y, órale, son las seis y y no tengo hambre. Y en cambio aquí en la casa son como unas seis, siete comidas en, en el día. So that's true. Es como un tipo de estrés, ¿no? Que le da por estar comiendo también. Ansiedad. Pero... Ajá, ansiedad. Uh -huh. bueno. 
Que me faltan dos chicos. ¿Quién me lee el pro tree and con tree? Con tree. A ver de los que no han pasado. Yo el country. Hugo, el country. Ok, dejo a Hugo para el último y me falta uno para el pro. Mi. Adrián. Ok, go Adrián. Ok. Um, while watching a lot of episodes of a show, the viewer, you are. can feel the play viewer okay. can feel the pleasure of full immersion also now has the sun uh, which is great uh, feeling similar to staying up uh, all night <laughs> uh, all night to finish a book or, or project shows made for for this skin of kind. experience, a uh, kind of experience. So, so as orange is such, orange is the new black and um, stranger. Things are, are often more so, sophisticated. Sophis sophisticated. Sophisticated and have multiple intricate storylines. Uh, complex rela relationships and multidimensional characters. 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 Okay. okay, bueno, ahí te corregí casi en el camino. Kind. Okay. Tipo. Kind. Such. Kind. La P, la, H, la P y la H suenan como F. Sofi, sophisticated. Sophisticated. Okay. Era multiple. 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 La U siempre, casi siempre suena como O. Yeah, almost always. Uh, y okay. characters, recordemos que la C y la H suenan como una K. Characters. Okay. Characters. That's it. Thank mm. you. Thanks. So tell me if you have any dudas. Les subrayo esas dos porque son nombres de series, eh? Por si me dicen como que esto no lo entiendo. Es que es el nombre de la serie. Orange is the New Black and Stranger Things son títulos de dos series. Mm. Teacher, tengo una duda. Mm -hmm. um, en algunas ocasiones, bueno, he estado este, un poco viendo cosas y las he visto que por decir en The Sound, como que hacen un sonido como tipo de abeja, stone, no sé cómo decirlo, como es la Z, me he fijado que es en las palabras Z y la hacen como un tipo, como zumbido. Yeah. Eh, si es correcto, sí, o sea, se pronuncia así la Z como tal, como un zumbido, no sé cómo explicarlo. Z, sí, la Z, Z, entonces no es de son con S, sino de son, son, z, z, sí, la Z, cuando veo una Z escrita, sí se pronuncia diferente en inglés. De son, algo así. Yeah. ¿En cualquier palabra o hay alguna regla que diga, no, esta no se pronuncia como son? Sí, cuando vean Z es zumbido, porque esto, bueno, así se dice zumbido y no es bus, es bus, bus. Con el, zumb el zumbidito. Es así, es, es el sonido de la Z. Ah, ok, ok. Y de hecho, cuando en inglés, igual que en francés, tip para los que te, tienen más de uno, cuando vean una S entre dos vocales, igualito que en francés, eso se va a pronunciar como una Z, ¿eh? Por ejemplo, fase, fase se dice phase, 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 con la Z. Con el zumbido Z. Para que no pronuncien cara igual que fase. No es lo mismo. Aquí se dice face. Cara, face con S. Y fase. Fase de como etapa. Tercera fase, cuarta fase, primera fase. Fase es face. Face. 
face. Face, face. Aquí es Z y aquí es S. ¿Yas? Ah, ok. Eh, como otro ¿hay tinder, alguna, es un... Ajá. ¿Hay alguna otra, por decir, como dice usted, ¿hay alguna otra regla en esas dos letras? O, como por decir, me puedo confundir, no sé, en X palabra que también tenga una S y se pronuncie como Z o algo. Como tipo los, los que nos dice que terminan como... Um, donde... Ajá, o por decir que, que nos dio... Ay, es que no me acuerdo cómo se llaman. Los que terminan en, e, en T, E, D... Um, ¿Sí me entiendes? Ah, no, sí, los, 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 el pasado y pasado participio, las terminaciones. Ajá. De esto de la Z creo que no. No hay más reglas. Hay excepciones. Hay palabras que aunque haya una S escrita se pronuncia como Z. Pero ya esas son de memoria. ¿Ya? Ah, ok, ok. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. So, de vocabulario, any particular question? Pro tree. Pro tree. Intricate. Uh, multiple intricate storyline. Como que intriga. Ok. O que está como que todo relacionado con el intricate. Gracias. You're welcome. ¿Solo eso? Uh -huh. Intricado, no sé de qué existe esa palabra Intricado, significa complejo De que todo una historia está Enlazada con otra, complejo Intricate So, Como Hugo dark. Andale, yes, dark But it's one of my favorite series I love dark I'm, I'm going to watch it again on vacation For the third time If you haven't seen Dark, try it. Eh? Si no la han visto, Dark, tra traten. Hasta quiero dar este curso de Dark. Si no, hasta me pueden preguntar si no le entienden algo. <ríe> me gusta mucho la, la serie. Ay, me, 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 pasó, me, me perdí en la tercera. ¿Really? A mí me encantó cuando dije... ¡Eh! Nunca había visto una serie donde todo estuviera tan, tan in, intricado, <risa> relacionado hasta el final. Ok, Hugo, I hear you, the last one. Yes. Ok. Um, I study found the people who watched multiple episodes of a show in one sitting reported significantly less show in young men that people who watch it one episode, episode at a time. Damon Lindelof, the co-creator, creator? Creator. Of pop, creator of popular shows such as Lost State this idea of anticipation that Christmas morning feeling doesn't doesn't is excite in people who exits in people who watch several episodes at once at once at once mm -hmm. okay vamos a ver watched la e no suena watched Repeat, watched. Hugo. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Watched. Watch. Watch. Significantly. 
significantly. Yeah. Anticipation. Anticipation. Exist. 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 Recuérdate en la I. Exist. 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 Como Porque, existe. Ajá. Sí, si existe. Porque dices exit suena como a la salida. Eso es exit. Okay. Ex y existe. Exist. Ex y una vez. Ex once. Once. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Vocabulary questions. No, it's okay. This is very, this is really true. It's, it's okay. Enjoyment. Enjoyment es diversión. Divertido. Diversión. Uh, okay. O disfrute, disfrute. Gozo, gozo. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Quién más se va a preguntar algo? Y voy a decir, esto es muy cierto. Dice aquí que quien se avienta la múltiples episodios en una sola, en una sentada, en one sitting, tiene menos, menos, este, disfruta menos el show. That's true. Por eso, aunque me guste mucho algo, evito, no, dije, ya, 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 ya me vi tres, ya hay cuatro, no, ya. No me las aviento en un fin de semana porque sí siento que, prefiero cambiar de serie, pero si veo todos los episodios en un par de días, siento que al final la serie no, no la disfruto al cien. Prefiero quedarme con la intriga durante una semana, unos días. ¿No hay ninguna otra palabra? Linda Love. ¿Dónde está esa? Arriba, 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 ahí, ahí, abajo. Watch it. Ah, Watch es, it. El nombre, es el nombre de una persona. Damon Lindelof es el... El co-creador ah, okay. de, 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 de series como... De una Love. serie popular. Ajá. Es su apellido, ¿no? Es su apellido del señor. Ajá. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, as por sí solo es como... Uh -huh. Y yeah. cuando va por decir ahí con such as... También... ¿También? Sí, such como que no tiene traducción. Se traduce como. Todo se traduce como. Uh, ok, pero lo puedo poner nada más el as. Sí. Sí, con, con uh, such nada más sirve para incrementar el énfasis en lo que estás hablando. De lo que estás hablando. Uh, ok, ok. Abajo de la palabra enjoyment dice once episode at a. Se puede pronunciar como ara time. Out of time? One episode at a time, ya, yeah. sí, los estadounidenses así lo dirían. One episode at a time, la T la convierten en R. Ok. Cuando sigue Thank una you. vocal por lo regular. Thank you, teacher. That's it, guys. Ok, that will be all for today. So, there's no homework. Vamos a tener otra clase así el próximo viernes. Vamos a tratar de estar hablando un montón. Es, va a recargarnos en el speaking. Y les encargo su bitácora. Ya hoy es la quinta, la, la quinta clase. El viernes es la sexta. Y con eso cerramos diciembre. Así que me entregan la bitácora durante el día sábado o el viernes. Pues después de la clase. Pues mejor tomen la última captura y me la mandan ya. Va a quedar así con seis sesiones. ¿Ya? ¿Ya?